I just finished replacing the hood release cable in this W116 300SD. And I have to say, the owner was very fortunate. Uh, she happened to complain that over the last month, you know, the hood release cable was getting really stiff and she had to really pull hard on the handle to get the hood to pop free. Well, we got the car in here and the first time I went to open the hood, the lever pin broke off. And I'm saying fortunate because that's an easy fix. When this breaks, you can reach in there with a pair of pliers, get a hold of this end of the cable and pull on it at least to get the hood open. But if the cable breaks internally, you have a big wrench edge, you have a big problem. And we're getting more and more emails from customers saying, oh no, can't, I can't get my hood open. My, my engine's running, I can't shut it off, or I got, I got to get to the oil or something, but I just can't get my hood open. And most of the time, not all the models, but many of the models, you literally have to break the grill screen open to get up under this course board here to release the latch mechanism that holds the hood tight to the body. So if you're experiencing a hard pulling hood cable, I recommend you replace it before it breaks on you and really leaves you stuck, okay? I mean, literally leaves you stuck. Now what happens over time is these cables will start to rust internally. There's really no lubrication in them from the factory. And in this one, I found a couple places where this outer coating had chafed away and there was actually moisture getting inside the cable and over time it starts to pull harder and harder. And of course you want to keep this latch mechanism lubricated. You want to keep the lever underneath the core support lubricated with synthetic grease. But sometimes you can't lubricate the cable unless you remove it. And what I recommend when you buy a new cable is that you lubricate it before you install it. And so was the case with this car here. And you know every time I go to put a hood cable in I get chest pains. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I get an ache somewhere because it's just, a, it's just a crummy job. For one thing, it's really hard to get to the two nuts that hold the cable to that little bracket under there. The other thing is, it's really hard, I mean really, really hard, to get this grommet into the firewall, rubber grommet. And another reason I had to replace this hood cable in this car was water was leaking through the grommet. And I'll explain more about that in my instructional video that's available on my website. But we had two things, uh, two issues with this car because of a faulty hood cable. One, the grommet was leaking water into the cabin. Number two, you know, we broke the lever pin and uh, we could have broken the cable. And of course, we would have had to de destroy the grill screen. Now, there are a couple models. I'm not going to go over this in detail in this video, but you might be able to snake up underneath if you know exactly where you're working from. But a lot of times, this auxiliary fan's in the way. So what I did when I decided, okay, I'm tired of fighting these cables, <laughs> I went to work and came up with some tools. Here are the special wrenches that I came up with. Look at those. Now, aren't those crazy looking wrenches? And those wrenches are designed to be able to get underneath this core support and get those two nuts loose. Now you need to do that whether or not you're removing the cable or whether you're adjusting it. Remember, if you have to pull the lever all the way out and pull really hard to get this to release, it may mean you only need to come in here and adjust the length of the cable. And you have to get on these two really thin nuts. So we had to grind the heads of these wrenches really, really thin to get in there. And one's offset one way and the other's offset the other way. In this car, you do have to remove the auxiliary fan, but you can get up in there and work those nuts. On the 123s, some of them you can get in there without having to remove anything. This bar tends to be in the way, the brace bar, on some of the models as well. So that kind of solved the problem of getting the nuts loose so we could get the cable out. But a lot of times, you're snaking this cable in and out you know, it's a pain. So I went through a whole training video that I did that will come with our tools and with our kit on my website. But man, get, sometimes this is really a challenge on the W116 is you have a hollow section in the course board here and you have to pull the cable in and out of that section. <laughs> but that, that grommet, let me tell you, particularly on the 116, it's way down in the corner. And I, I worked up a special technique that I explain in my training video or my on-demand video, but I also came up with a tool. Now you could fabricate something like this, but I had to have a soft-faced end tool 
that I could get right down in here and actually push on that grommet while I was working it from the other side. Installing that grommet in the firewall, by the way, is a two-man job. If you plan to replace the hood cable in your older Mercedes Benz, you might want to check out the resources I have available on my website. I'll just put some links in the show more part of this description below. But I want to warn you, do not neglect a hard opening or stiff moving hood release cable.